what is up folks welcome back to the channel as always thank you for clicking on this so much allow me to use my outdoor experiences to better yours now today you guys can see i'm still in my work attire had a couple jobs cancel on me so we said why the heck not we were on this side of town kind of and we hit the woods this is another property in east texas that is open for squirrel and hare hunting with a shotgun and then feral hog hunting with a bow only. Now, I recently got my hands on a good old trad bow. Sucker's pretty big, man. Sucker's almost as big as me. So hunting, hunting out of a tree is gonna, I don't, I don't really see how that's even possible. I haven't shot a compound bow. Definitely haven't shot a trad bow. So we're gonna try it. Again, this spot is for feral hog hunting with a bow only. So I'm gonna get that trad bow, put some hours in, and come out here next week and try to get a hog. Plain and simple. Now, as you guys can see, Today's purpose is putting up some trail cams for some hogs. Now this property is only about 290 acres, I think. I forgot, 200 something. So it's not very big. We can walk the whole thing, find some juicy spots. I mean, it's hog. Here in Texas, there's hogs everywhere, literally everywhere. Now don't be fooled. They're very sneaky, very, very nocturnal. So it's still gonna be a challenge. We gotta find a good spot. Goal today, find some juicy spots, put these cameras down come back in four days, probably five, and get on the hog. All right, folks, found the first spot. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Bunch of rooting up. You guys can see where it's green and then where it gets rooted up and then where it's green again back there. All that rooting up is hogs. Just making a mess. There's a bunch of it here, right in the middle. A bunch of it down there. A bunch of it over here, and this is a nice little cove, a little pocket. We've got a creek running behind and there's like a dry pond behind here. So I think this is gonna be a real, real good spot. And I mean, this rooting up is all in here, all in here. It's not that old, it's fairly fresh. As you can see, this, this dirt turns fairly easily. So it's, this is spot number one. I think I'm gonna get a trail cam set up on that tree, clear some of this brush. Yeah, because I can't get anything else set up here. Ooh, or maybe on that oil pump looking this way. We just got to clear some of that. And I'm thinking of getting set up on this tree here as a shooter. And then maybe Z next to me on the tree right behind it as a film filming. I don't have to get too high. It's fairly, fairly leveled here. Just maybe two sticks up just to get me kind of right here on the stand. And yeah on our first spot so i'm gonna get this camera situated i didn't bring my machete to cut some of these limbs and make sure this tree's gonna make it oh yeah this is all a hog wallet all this yeah this is this is fairly fresh too so oof that's not the best tree what about its buddy behind it It's a little sturdier. You know, that one might just have to do though. I've got a, I'm gonna be on the saddle. So I think if I get the saddle about yay high, clear some of these, get it about yay high. Ow, that gives me this view. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so. So he's getting the camera put on there. I'm gonna clear some branches. We've got our first spot, folks. Let's get to work. We're back, folks. Came back to the spot where we dropped off the cams. It's been Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Six days, so there's plenty of footage on that sucker. We're gonna see if it's worth anything though. So let's hike back there. We're supposed to wear orange last time. We weren't wearing it. So I got some blaze orange. We actually just left the woods hunting squirrels. If you guys didn't watch that, check that video out. It'll be right here. And um, yeah, came straight over here. It was kind of on the way, not really. But I think six days of footage is, is more than enough to determine whether there's gonna be hog out here or not. So let's see if that's the case. Got the first one, let's get the second one. All right, let's hope the second camera's there. We didn't get much on the first one, but a bunch of side-by-side -side dogs and does. So, nothing excited on here. I kind of have better hopes about this back one. 
because this stuff got rooted up really bad. It was a much bigger rooting area. Let's make sure the camera's there. Yeah. Sure. A little thievery. But yeah, as you guys can see, man, this stuff all right here. Rooted up. So let's see what this one's got. Well, folks, nothing on the trail cams. This one out in the back, closer to that creek. We had some hawks come in, but they were late at night, 10 p.m., 3 a.m. We actually had a big old buck cruise through during shooting hours, but we can't shoot deer here. Cool to see on the cams, though. Other than that, nothing, man. I know the hogs are here. We just seen some dude pull out of here. Not sure what he was doing or working, but he had keys to the gate. I'm not sure. We're probably still going to sit it out. Not tonight. I was hoping to see pretty substantial evidence that there's hogs out here, but that was not the case. So we're going to come back. I've got some work to do on the trad bow. We're going to get some broadheads. And hopefully the next time we're on this property, we're suited and booted to shoot a hog. I got the little trad bow with a 30 inch arrow. And that's like a two inch broadhead. I ain't got no business being out here with this uh, bow and arrow, but we're gonna give it a shot. Yeah, we're gonna see what we can find. We're gonna find a little tree and shim it on up. Alrighty, so I forgot my damn saddle. I'm gonna just put the platform about that high and just stand on it. I'm not walking back, so I'm just going down already. All right, we'll make it, we'll make it. All right, y'all, we made it. I feel good about this spot. Whether we see something or not, we'll see. Well, gang, night number one, no luck. Um, 
I like the spot we were at. The weather and the wind were not in our favor. It's, but we're supposed to get a pretty cool front coming in in two days. So this is definitely not the last time coming in here. We're gonna be back. But that, luckily that gives us time to practice a little bit with the uh, bow. I have not shot the broadheads. I've only shot the practice arrows. So I need to get a couple of those in through. Uh, I just get a little bit more comfortable with it shooting from a sand. Maybe set the sand up at the crib and shoot from it. Yeah, definitely a good spot, man. There's definitely lots of animals there. It's just whether we can see them during the day. Um, a lot of the camera footage was at night, but we're just gonna keep after it until we see these bad boys. So I will see you guys the next time we get out.